Good morning from Islamabad. We are at the F6 market. Yeah. And we are going to walk 2.9K to the F7 market. There's a burger restaurant we want to check out there. Daddy. But why we're walking this forest? Fanta. Yeah, there was yeah. a monkey in another video that stole a girl's Fanta and Forrest is quite obsessed with that. Yeah, Always apparently on the look. Apparently scary. that's a thing. Yeah, the like monkey was scary. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but either way, while we walk, at least for a little while, I want to talk to you about the layout of Islamabad and how I love the layout of this city. So basically, we're in F6 going to F7. And each of these sections has four sectors. So you've got F6, one, two, three, and four. You have F7, one, two, three, and four. And in the middle of those sectors are the markets. Yes. And by market, it's not like one little fruit stand. It's a Daddy, whole strip there's a of restaurants. See the birdie. Food stalls. Yeah, it's it, like, shops. so for example, yeah. the market here has a coffee shop, a chocolate shop, a huge gas station, yeah. and it's a long strip. It goes way, way down. There's gonna be uh, expat food, like international food. Yeah, There'll be local one, food. Yeah. And almost all of them in terms of a combination of local food versus uh, expat, like foreigner food. Foreigner food. Yeah. <laughs> foreigner food. Uh, like but either way, you get the idea. So you might find KFC, you might find Pizza Hut, you might find big national chains in these markets, mm -hmm. and then you'll also find very local Pakistani food. So that's what's kind of unique, I think, about this layout is it all makes sense. And because Islamabad is relatively flat, at least the city, versus up towards the mountains, it's these straight long roads. So it's pretty easy to, to, navigate. to navigate and to find your way uh, in between markets. Again, they're about 3K apart, at least from F6 to F7. It's a bit hot today, but it's overcast and there's a lot of shade. So walking for us, I think we can do it. If not, we would use something like Uber or Injust to grab a ride. Or Kareem also works here. So we're entering, you know, this longer stretch here with the green space, but this is all still part of that same F6 market. So it's like a long stretch of places that are, you know, kind of considered for the market. So either way, looking good, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Quite pretty. It's a nice day to just to walk and enjoy the green. Yeah, the F greenery. F6 is really the like the embassy area, so it's sort of a to do like a uh, higher class like higher class is what the taxi driver said yeah higher class yeah. good word um of an area so you're gonna find nicer restaurants and you know all the uh, amenities that go into these long strips of markets so again back where we were coffee shops and chocolate shops over here now you're getting more like there's a subway there's an oriental rug store there's a couple of different brands of banks there's a broadway pizza so it's just, you know, separate sections, but still the same, what they would call F6 markets. And there's usually a grocery store tied to these markets as well. So let's see, I think maybe even up here, as we walk down and again, all passing the F6 market, I think there's, I think I actually see the grocery store up here. So there's a lot. Hello, some of the game, happy Eid, sir. Happy Hello. All right, boutique clothing stores and some of them kind of in this fancier strip anyway. You get the idea. So now there's an old bookstore. There's a burger restaurant here, more carpet stores. And it goes on and on for quite a few blocks for this one market. But okay, we will uh, continue walking, work our way a little closer to F7. But it's again, it's a beautiful day. We're in the shade. It's very green, lots of flowers. And it's nice. Yeah. I see a jewelry nice. store over there. Some kind of like studio, uh, like hair and makeup products, steak houses. Mr. Food. Mr. Food. Mr. Food, that would be Pakistani. They look open. So it's actually Eid today. So uh, not a lot is open, um, but occasionally you do find one or two. So normally these places are hustling and bustling. And at night is when they really come alive. Yeah, it gets a lot busier. And I don't know, maybe it's busier normally, but because of Eid, it's not oh, yeah. this morning. Yeah, so typically, so it's past noon now. So normally, yeah. a lot of these places would be open for like the lunch crowd. But yeah. because of Eid, 
it's pretty much all closed down. There's only a few spots that are open here in F6. That's why we're gonna head to F7 and check out for a burger shop up there. It's more of a national chain, the place we're going. Yeah. Woohoo! All right. Should be good. Hopefully it's open. Hopefully it's open. It's a 2.9K to walk, but you can see now it's open. It's still part of the market, all of this. So like three bucks later, more jewelry stores, a boutique cafe as it's called. Lots of, uh, yeah, lots of options. It's kind of nice like each neighborhood has its own like self-sufficient amount of stores. So Agreed. You can actually walk to get food, buy supplies and that kind of stuff in each neighborhood that you stay in. Yeah, that's the best part about Islamabad. It's just this layout. Now the blue zone is where most, ex or most like tourists would stay. That I believe is like something like F6 through F10. It's a long strip of uh, what they call the blue zone. Again, that's going to be more of the uh, here. Hold on. What, food, oh, it's getting heavy. And stuff. Well, more food stalls, more of these markets, kind of all in this blue zone. But you can see here's a, one of the groceries that they're talking about. Uh, and it's multi level. So uh, this long three blocks, all part of the same one market. All right, we'll continue on down the road here. The one thing uh, that to be aware of though, when you do go for a walk, is there are a lot of panhandlers. Yeah, surprisingly there. I'm surprised. I guess I, I don't know, I think we've been out of the big cities for a while. Yeah. So we're not used to it, but um, definitely uh, Islamabad has been full of them. Especially yeah, the well, and the thing too, so when you do go out to these markets, um, there are, a number of people that will come solicit money from you while you're sitting down at a restaurant if you're like on, a, on the outdoor seating yeah if you're out on the street you're gonna be hit up i think the other day we were we were approached 15 times while waiting for french fries yes like yeah. 15 times so was, and, and a lot of times sometimes they're selling stuff like socks or flowers, flowers. sometimes they'll just, it's just kids begging for money trying to sell coloring books or a, a mother with a baby. Yes. Or this guy behind us. Yeah, and typically, typically they uh, stop after a block, but this guy's pretty committed. <laughs> but we, I will say, we are walking now past soccer pitches and basketball courts and That's tennis nice. courts. So it's not uncommon to see some of these type of things in these markets. Now this F6 one yeah. is particularly fancy. Yeah. Multi-purpose sports center That's is what they call new. it. Oh. No, I got him. So we continue on. I think probably once we cross the street here, this guy will stop following us. They tend to stick to a somewhat of a territory. Uh, so when it comes to the panhandling, though, uh, usually I would say maybe 30% of the time, one no, and they stop and they go on. But the other 70%, they are very persistent. Kids are more persistent, it seems like. Yeah. Okay, now the guy's sort of drifting off now. Yeah, thanks. But, you know, it's a, if you give them money just for no reason, then it just it only encourages the panhandling, I think, where they're going to see every foreigner or tourist as a uh, potential mark to just get money from. So we very rarely, if ever, would donate money or give money. All right, so now we are officially caught with this street crossing. We are out of the market area as we continue through F6. So I believe that was F4. Now all of this represents F1. And on this side of the street, maybe like uh, F6-2. So like F6-1 on this side, F6-2 on that side. So it's all kind of divided out with these grids by streets, these major intersections are what divide out the sections. Okay, yeah, our, our, our friend behind us has now drifted back and that's kind of the, uh, the end of the market territory. So he's turned around to solicit uh, money from the next person who passes by. We are also uh, coming up to a bit of a park. So you've got a green space here. Again, fairly common to have the market, to have a green belt. Usually there's playgrounds in all of these districts, at least in the blue oh, zone. Daddy, yeah, bud. I want to go to the playground. You want to go to the playground? Yeah. We'll keep an eye out, see if we can't come across a playground. They're pretty fun, aren't they? Yeah. All right, well, moving on. 
also camels. It's camels. Yeah, camels. Oh my goodness, that would be huge. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, of course, today is Eid, and part of this Eid is the animal sacrifice. Yes, exactly. And you were saying it's not uncommon to sacrifice yeah. cows, like what you're doing here. Uh, camels, goats, yes. incredible. incredible. And how many people will you feed with this one cow? Do you have a large family here today yes. or is it small? Yeah, it's family, it's like we have ex uh, like external families, it's everyone. Wow. So yeah. in Eid, it's like it's traditional that we share this meat, we distribute uh, in a, yeah, our... Eid, yes. Eid, yeah? Eid, yeah. And so how many people will come from your family for your house today, do you expect? A lot. A lot. a lot it's wow. like more than like 30 plus you wow can say, 30 okay to and this is this is this is close family yeah also friends yeah friends it's it's usually uh, it's this we do in our family tradition it's usually our fam our family it's really uh first second instance and also distant revenues it's like it's like it's tradition that we all gather together okay and we feast in the first day of Eid. This okay, is day, one. day one. And will your family stay with you for all three yeah, yeah, days? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're here for their holidays. They huh? usually come for their holidays. They spend their summer vacations here. I see. And how how far away is, is your family coming from? Uh, some come from the Middle East. Some coming from oh, the US. Oh, out of US. country? Yeah, out of country. Most of wow. them are out of country. Some of them do live here, but most of, most of our family come from uh, countries to spend Eid or Eid, like in Buddy Eid and this Choti Eid here together oh, right yeah. in Pakistan. Yeah, that's great. Well, um, so will you cook the cow meat today and eat today or do you butcher today and cook tomorrow? It depends on us. Depends that when uh, we have a dawat that's like a family, like a family brunch. So it's I like see, dinner. So okay. so the, what we do is that we usually decide the menu what we're going to cook today. Okay. If it's uh, cow meat, we'll cook cow meat. We usually, we traditionally, our family eats ran. That's okay. like a piece leg piece of a, of a goat so we cook that that's our tradition our family tradition and palau if you if you know palau, palau. I do, what's palau palau it's like it's brown it's with brown rice okay. and and you put uh, like you can say it's it's goat meat as well okay. it's like it's like meat it's like biryani but it's kind of different with it's rice rice meat. yes exactly. same seasonings like uh no it's not uh, it's not spicy in okay. biryani it's spicy this is like a small more, it's more normal mild. normal it's not it's very mild it's like you cook it it's cooked with brown rice that's I see. the difference i see they what in biryani they use coloring they colored the rice to make it yellow it's a color look okay so like a, like a saffron yeah right? exactly okay. exactly like yeah. saffron now i see there's another cow over here is it, this is a neighbor yeah, this, this next house no. and will they also sacrifice that cow today or we yes. don't know uh, well, some people sacrifice today and because there are three holy days in I, eid yes yeah this is the hajj this is like hajj. sacred sacred where muslims go for pilgrimage to mecca okay so this is the first day we people sacrifice on the first day second day and third day okay. it's tradition so it depends on you on your on what uh, that what family does. Yeah, it's different yeah. than your family. Yeah, exactly. But traditionally, it's recommended that we should do it in the first day. It's okay. more. Yeah, I understand. It has more yeah. like it's. It has more sacred. It's more sacred. It's more. It's like you. It's like we. You own more sunnah. Yeah, like more rewards. You of get course. more. It's like that. It's sort of like you could say it's. If we do it uh, on the first day, that you do it on, the on the first day, day. on the first day is, is the majority. Yeah, but sometimes people yeah. but it depends on what, But yeah. there's no compulsion. Okay, this, so I it's, it depends on you what you want. If it's if you're comfortable on the first day, you'll do it on the first day. Then, other than that, if you want to do it on the second day, you can do it on yeah. the second day. Okay, okay. My name is Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Hello. Pleasure Jonathan. to meet you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for letting us uh, come and, and see. This is yeah. our first uh, Eid. Oh, it's our first time in Pakistan, okay, okay. and we're just so happy to be here on Eid to have the experience to see sort of more of the oh, local yeah. tradition. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, you're enjoying your stay here. It's been amazing. Uh, Pakistani people are so friendly, oh, that, thank you. and uh, the food is so good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, and then so do you when you when you have the like they're pulling out the sacks now. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Do you use the different cuts for different purposes or? Yeah. Yes, okay. yes. We use we use the different cuts for different purposes. There's Except a piece we the, call a put. This is like for the rice with the palau. It's right, a as you're saying. Yeah, and the ran that I told you, like the, that's we cook uh, lamb roast. Basically. It's sort of like lamb okay. roast. 
roasting the lamb, but yes, with different the way you use the verbra. The verbra is used in the palau. Palau is a form of rice. Okay, brown rice. that's the brown rice. Yes, the brown yeah. rice. Palau. The ran is basically your leg. Okay. The entire leg of them. So basically, like a, you can use it as a lamb chop. Okay. Or you can just cook it as a whole. There are a variety of options how you cook the meat. Okay. And it depends on the cut. You we dispose of the intestines. Right. Because uh, we can't eat those because of the fecal matter in it. Right. Of course. Uh, yeah, they got the whole gut sack. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, has yeah, to, to be discarded. discarded all. But the liver is highly nutritious. Sure. We do eat that. Of course. It has high amounts of nutrition. We okay. usually eat kidneys. Okay. Uh, on the first day, we usually eat kidneys. Okay, and is that your family yeah, specific? Yeah, family. This is family. Oh, okay. family. Family okay. and people. Family. But it does, it's good to hear the tradition. You know, yeah. So it's, it's very lovely. So we, every family has a different traditions in eat. So in okay. our family, we cook, uh, we use uh, like lamb meat. We a lamb meat yep. curry, like sort of like we eat a curry, and the on in the morning we usually have this uh, with the clay. This we call the kleji. I see. Kleji yeah, it's basically uh, a Punjabi term of the uh, cooked liver. Okay. All right. All right. Now. Um, these men here, are they part of your family or do you, no, 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 do you no, no, bring no, no. them in? They're specialists. No, we bring them, they're butchers. They're, okay. They're known for it. We usually, what happens is that there are two ways. Either you can call them, and if you have a big uh, gathering of your uh, sacrificial animals, they can yeah. come here. Or the other way is that you can take your animal to the butcher shop. Okay, and, they'll do it there. Do it there. That way it you... saves them time. <laughs> then you'll just have to go and collect the, the pieces and yeah. then you can cook it at home. Okay, okay. And so that's what these men's profession is. Yes, yeah. uh, they are professional butchers. Yeah, yes. They come. Your family has hired them yeah, out yes, to come them. and sacrifice. Exactly. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite amazing. Yeah. yeah, any... Yeah, it really is. It really is. Uh, yeah, very nice. Well, thank you for letting us uh, come and pleasure. just to learn a little bit of your family. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Your, thank your you story. Thank you. All right. Yeah, it's just a look into part of what happens so often right now during today on Sunday, the special Eid, uh, as we walk down the street. Again, the animal sacrifices. Very, very, very cool to see. People told us if you just walk around, you're going to see animal sacrifices. Yeah. And I thought, nah. Well, we were thinking like, okay, well, is there going to be like a big celebration, a parade, a festival downtown and they're like no everyone's just kind of it's it's with their all family. over yeah this yeah. so this particular eat is definitely all about the family yeah. and so again just walking right past that park and sure enough there's uh, those guys sacrificing that animal so we're still technically in f6 so it was a good call to walk yeah absolutely we kind of went back and forth but uh, i'm glad we walked because now we get to see that yeah. and learn about that that those brothers those two guys were brothers yeah. uh to learn about and that was their grandfather's house so to learn about their family tradition i thought was pretty sweet that's really cool all right well who knows what else we'll see between here and there but either yeah. way we hi we definitely got that uh cool peek at the a life eed yeah animal the sacrifice have, for the celebration and uh, all that family so very cool all right well we'll keep walking bye bye. all right so just as we're walking to f7 market this gentleman Hold up, hello sir. F7 market? Yes. yes. Okay, 200. Uh, 200, all right, so 200. We get a little faster, because now we're sort of out of that shade from those trees. So to hop in, take a ride from this guy. Oi. There goes Forrest. To uh, get a ride from this guy. Not bad. All right, thank you, sir. What's your good name? Yeah. Your good name? Your, my name Jonathan. Ah, uh, Jonathan. I am Nasser. Nasser, nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the ride, sir. <laughs> uh, me also. All right. Ooh, a little better. Yeah, the air. The air, yeah. So, uh, cool. So I don't know if this man is just a regular like taxi guy or or what, but it's one of these little uh, commuter vehicles that you see all around. Oh, so. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, who is this? Yes, yeah, who is this man? <laughs> Christian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Christian? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, well, there you go. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> you can see this is now, we're, now we've crossed the road, so we are officially in F7 territory. Also equally beautiful, so many large trees. Cedar, you like that wind? Yeah. Nice. Grant, are you getting any? Yeah. All right. Stimple. Uh, just the market. So now we've passed all the green zone and as we get a little closer, you'll start to see, like this is the F7 green space park. Fruit vendors are fairly common, like what you saw right there. 
there's a, like a playground in that space and all of this all this shop now this begins the f7 market yeah this is good sir Can I drop you? Uh, just here it's fine yeah yeah, yeah perfect uh yeah perfect thank you sir all right so now uh, i i have a drop in f7 market yes yeah, sir the best uh, okay, the best drive you, bye -bye. this guy all right so that guy so nice so nice now we paid we did pay 200 to go like eight blocks but you know it's uh whatever i i the guy was so sweet so why yeah. not and it's getting hot it's getting hot did you guys uh prefer to walk or did you like the ride ride, ride. ride? okay all right so 200 well spent and now the name of the restaurant we're going to is, is I think we're looking for cheesiest. Yes. Cheesiest. Yeah. Okay. So cheesiest yeah. is a big yeah. chain restaurant, but I think we're all in the mood yeah. for that. At least like a big fat burger. We have our fingers crossed that cheesiest is open. But when I look around here, I mean this is the kind of the heart of F7 market. And it's all looking closed. All of that's closed because of Eid. So hopefully the big chain is open. We definitely are got a hankering. Chita, you want a cheeseburger? Yeah. Yeah, you actually want a cheese parata. But all the uh, local places that we went to earlier were closed. So it might have to settle Dad. with a cheeseburger. Yes. I want cheese parata too. You also want a cheese parata. Yeah. Well, cheese paratas. Let's see if we can find some. All right, we happened right across What's a Parata. This is uh, one of the restaurants that's reviewed very well on Google. So we're gonna go in there and at least get one cheese parata because that's what the kids have really been craving. You coming with me, bud? All right, this is uh, a side meal before our big meal. Hello. Hello, sorry, the video's okay? All right. So you can kind of see the rotating menu board. Hello, sir. Uh, can I please order one cheese parata? Yes, this sir. boy wants his cheese parata. Menu. I gotta bring out a menu. You want a cheese parata? Yes, big boy. He likes Pakistani food. Oh, okay. Hi guys. Hello. Happy Eid. Eid. Happy Eid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Delivery for Panda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Good job. Busy day? Yeah. Today very busy. Yeah, yeah. Lots of deliveries. Eid, yeah. yeah. Lots of people ordering food. Okay, let's see. What's your channel name? Our channel name? This, us here. Bags Packs Family. Thank you. Is that it? Yeah, we'll put that video on. Okay. Cheese parata and panda delivery. Yeah. Okay, so the menu. I think we just want uh, cheese, cheese parata. Yeah, three cheese. Three cheese parata. Nice. So we have one. And then mineral water, four. One three cheese. One three cheese parata, four, four, four mineral water, small. And that's it. All right. Woo. All right, guys. Good luck. Enjoy. Good tips. Food Panda. Food Panda is the name of those guys. Very popular eating delivery app. Food Panda. Okay. Well, my family's out there, so we go out there. I'll wait for the waters. You'll bring the waters. Okay. Should I pay now or pay at the end? After food. Okay. Thanks, guys. All righty. Okay. Water's coming, one cheese parata. The guy's gonna bring the cold water next. Uh, the Food Panda guys are pretty cool. Cool. They said they're so busy today. Wow, yes. Yeah, Eat, yeah, of course. I might turn this fan on, you think? Yeah. I... Your good name again? Heather, Heather. Heather, Heather, nice to meet you, sir. Mm. So on his honeymoon. Uh, yes. Yes, congratulations thank for you, the thank marriage you. with your family on Eid. Uh, it's very nice to meet you all. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And then they just delivered. Thank you, sir. Cheese parata, uh, the best cheese parata. So they just brought that out. It's kind of they cut it really in quesadilla style. That's the first time I've seen them do that. Uh, so that's actually a convenient little snack. And I have a hunch this must be like a ranch dipping sauce. Forest, you want your cheese parata? Hot, ooh, hot, hot. Happy Eid. There you go. Here, don't you move your chair closer? You want a cheese parata, Forest? Yeah. All right, okay. Granny, you're gonna go for a slice or not? Yeah. yeah, that's probably a good idea. We were all hot and sweaty, and this fan is really, uh, uh, that's you. awesome. I love that. They just like aim the fan right at you and uh, cool down. All right, so cheese parata. Again, this is the first time I've seen them cut it like quesadilla style. So, okay, well, that's one way to eat it, huh, Forrest? 
Yummy. I haven't seen uh, sauce with it. I haven't seen sauce before. So like a ranch, I think. Like maybe a mayonnaise. Anyone mayonnaise. help yourself? Okay. Well, cheese parada time. Are you gonna try it or are you ah. passing? I'll pass. Okay. Oh. Is it Ooh. hot? Yes. It's hot. It's three cheese. Oh wow. Three cheese burrata. Is that normal or is that a special? It was a special menu item. Oh. I said cheese burrata. He said three cheese. I was like, yeah, let's do three cheese. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, well. It's gonna be good. Quite delicious. Can I dig in? Yeah, yeah. It's a tasty cheese burrata. Is what it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And again, what a burrata is where we're at. Quite yummy. All right, well, we're gonna enjoy the little snack and then hopefully continue on to Cheesy S. We're gambling that they're gonna be open, which is why we stopped here at Weta Parada to get the, the little cheesy snack. I think that was a good call to stop, yeah? Yep, yeah. okay, bye bye. Okay, cheese parata in the bag. So that, that goal was accomplished. That check. Yeah, I'd been, would list. have been really sad if we would not have got at least one cheese parata as we are flying out tomorrow. So that may have been the last one. In Pakistan, we'll see, we'll see. But right, uh, Pakistan, we're coming back to eat more cheese parathas. Uh, yeah, that's a must. So total bill yeah. there, seven sixty nine. It was like four and change for the paratha, and then the waters uh, were the rest of that. So yeah, okay. Yeah. And good. you can see F seven looks a whoa. <laughs> F seven looks a lot like F six in terms of you've got all these local restaurants, jewelry stores, clothing stores, restaurants, glasses. It's just, it's kind of all the same. So each one will have slightly different restaurants as anchor stores, but all the uh, in-between stuff, it's gonna be very similar between all these different markets. So we have a few blocks to go before we get to find out if Cheesiest is open or closed. Yep. I really want a burger now that I've been thinking about them all day. So we'll <laughs> find out. Moment of truth as we approach cheesiest in the back corner there i see obviously some white cars and i see some people coming in and out of the general area of cheesiest is it open, is it open? <laughs> we're gonna find out it seems to be a pretty popular it's definitely a big spot. chain i know nothing they about it all these grab motorcycles yeah yeah all these guys yeah food delivery in red it looks open yes is is it oh it's so hard to say okay they're okay it's well they're at least wiping down chairs a few lights are on let's find out it says takeaway are you open three o'clock okay what time is it now yeah what time is it now oh 2 30 so yes. soon yes. okay well that's good news so our here's the here's the new plan we're gonna go to safa gold mall grab snacks for the room for later in 20 minutes they open yeah so we'll come back then to cheesiest yes all right well let's head back to the grocery get snacks and then we'll come back here in a little bit okay all right well the plans keep shifting uh this beautiful e day so the entire mall is closed is closed yeah i mean it's not a huge mall but uh it is closed so we're gonna pull yet another audible on this crazy day and we're gonna get a milk tea, yeah? Yes. Okay. Sounds good. I mean, nothing like a hot milk tea on a hot day. Yep. I want my yeah. little fire truck. You want your little fire truck? Okay, yeah. How does Forrest remember that this mall had a little toy fire truck that we did not buy him, yet his brain somehow retained that information. <laughs> All right, so instead of the mall, we'll grab a little milk tea while we wait for cheese. Yes. It's gonna be a dairy kind of day. I think so. A dairy day. <laughs> All right, so where are we for the milk tea? We're behind Cheesius. We're here at this establishment. Hello, sir. All right. Maybe uh, we can sit here in the shade. Well, these are the guys for the milk tea. Oh yeah. I think they'll maybe, well, I don't know. You guys wanna sit down there? In the shade? Breeze is better up here? Okay, so we'll sit here. Maybe right here behind these guys under the shade. Uh, two chai. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Which one do you recommend? Very special. special? G. Yeah. What is the? I think special is good. Okay. I think. Okay, you recommend? And okay. Well, yeah, well done. And. Uh, and uh, Kashmiri. Oh. Green tea. Huh. 
Zaptani. How about this is the coffee. this is the yeah, coffee. coffee. Uh, this okay. is the gourd. Oh wait 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 wait, wait wait wait. This two and cookie? Gourd. Yeah. No. Oh no. Yeah, no just yeah. just just the tea. Okay. Maybe I'll order uh let no let's just do this. How about what well, is the gourd of Malai? Okay, how about this? We'll do we'll do this. Uh, I'll change it up a little bit. We'll go one, one, special tea, one. And do you have this? This is tea? One? Two. Yeah, so one cashmere two? No, cashmere one. One, one, special. one cashmere, one special. Two good. Nah. No. One special, one cashmere. Yes. Got it? Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. What's this, the, is the this is uh this why is this pink? Is that rose? Pink. Pink, pink. pink. Uh, For rose? Uh, pink. Yes, 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 rose? yes, yes. Okay, I see. All right, cool. Thank you, guys. Uh, mm. Okay. What did you just eat? Coconut? Maybe coconut. Something white and coconutty, I, I believe. Coconut. Quite good. Shredded coconut. Mine's just a milk tea, and it's sweet, and it's delicious. Mm. Can I try some? Yes, you may, Cedar. So this is kind of a nutty crumbs on top and that pink flavor, it's sweet. It's a really sweet tea. All right, Cedar, you're going for it? All right, go for it. Give the tea a try. That's good. It's good, isn't it? It's nice, a milk-based, uh, Tea with uh, again, I don't quite know what the red, uh, what the pink comes from. Maybe cherry, a rose of some sort, but uh, quite delicious. Do you taste ro rose? Or just more? Milk? I just taste more milk and sweet, so I can't quite define what that flavor is. Yeah. You want to try it? Like a sumac or something. Maybe. Remember when we were in uh, Georgia and Azerbaijan, and they had that red? Yes, the that red could stuff. be. That could be. Because the, the rose is not jumping out at me, but it's definitely tasty. And chewy. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. it's like pistachios. Or it's, it's some kind of nut powder on top. Yeah. I'm going to go for this uh, traditional. Almost has a cinnamon. Could be. But that one That's make the right traditional. I want to try that. That, that one tastes good. good. Yeah, and that sweet. one's good. The traditional, the special, as they call it, tastes tastes pretty pretty standard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just good. Yeah, it's good. Just good drinks. I like this one better. You like the traditional? Yeah, it's it's yeah. kind of the, the staple in it, the original, the, the traditional. All right, well, we're going to knock out the teas. We've got just a few more minutes to kill, and then we're going to head over to Cheesiest. Yeah. Cheesiest. Lunch has been served. Mixed platter, wings, fries, chicken rolls, and look at this mega cheese pizza. This is why they call it... It's why they call it cheesiest. The cheesiest. That's che the that cheese. is a cheesiest pizza. <laughs> All right. A cheesiest for Forrest. Hold on, baby. It might be a little hot. It might be hot. But anyway, it looks good. Granite, dig in, man, if you want one of those wraps. You want a wrap? Sure. A Tabasco. You should Tabasco Cedar. wrap it. Okay, Cedar, you're you're delicately Tabascoing one fry at a time. Yep. That's, Can you cut one of those that Cedar was going to pizza? Yeah, yeah. That is a cheesiest the cheesiest of all cheesy That's pizza. That's the cheesiest pizza. Whoa. There you go. Cool. All right, so we've got Tabasco, we've got rolls, we've got... Wings. We've got wings, we've got Tabasco. And so much cheese. So much cheese. All right, guys, is that is it is it the cheesiest? Mm -hmm. That chicken cheese roll, that one, is so good. Yeah. How's it with Tabasco? Delicious and spicy. Yeah, I love the jalapenos. And Cedar, how's that cheesiest pizza? Good. Cheese to the max, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice. So much cheese. Forrest, you liking that cheese pizza? Yeah. Home run. Yeah. Cool. Cheesiest was a... Uh, it was a big hit. It was I a big hit. The yeah. kids loved it. It was really good food. $13.99 for the total, for the water, the pizza, the platter, the pizza, all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair enough. Yep. So, this day. This day has been... Kind of a surprise. We yeah. didn't know what we were doing. We just started walking. Yeah, to yeah. come across the animal sacrifice, to learn about Eid from that gentleman's family was great. Yeah, that was cool. And then uh, have tea. The tea was the delicious. Tea was nice. 
the cheese parata, and then obviously the end of here with cheesiest. Yeah. It's a great day just walking around Islamabad. You never know what you're gonna see or what you're gonna who, who you're gonna, gonna meet. Right. Small world. Who you're gonna run into? Absolutely. Yep. All right, everybody. Well, we're heading back to the hotel, get some AC, and just relax for a few hours. This is getting still pretty hot, but we will catch you in the next episode.